In the 2020 election, a record 160 million people turned out to vote, but about 80 million Americans who were eligible to vote didn't. There are many reasons people don't vote. Some simply aren't paying close enough attention to the election. Others want to vote, but can't because they missed the deadline to register or go to the wrong polling place. And still others just don't think it'll make a difference. But you never know when an election could be so close that your vote could decide the winner. Remember the 2000 presidential race? That election came down to Florida, and the winner of Florida came down to less than 0.1% of the vote. We now believe it is too close to call. The state conducted multiple recounts, and the Supreme Court eventually ruled that George W. Bush had carried the state by just 537 votes, out of almost 6 million. Some other recent elections have been even closer. In 2020, Republican Marionette Miller Meeks won election to the House of Representatives from Iowa's 2nd Congressional District by just six votes. And in 2017, the election for a seat in the Virginia House of Delegates was literally tied. Election officials had to pick a name out of a ceramic bowl to determine the winner. It ended up being the Republican. The winner of House District 94 is David Yancey. And because of that, Republicans controlled the House of Delegates 51 to 49. In other words, there was a tie in the election that broke the tie in the whole chamber. So if you care who wins this November's election, vote. You never know when your vote might be the difference between your candidate winning and losing. And making sure your voice is heard in November starts right now by making sure you're registered to vote. Then make a plan to vote. Depending on which state you live in, you may be able to vote early in person or by mail rather than on election day itself. If you wanna vote by mail, check to see when the deadline is to apply for a ballot. If you prefer to vote in person, look up your local polling place on the website of your state election official. And if you live in a state that requires an ID to vote, remember to bring it with you. Voting is one of the most meaningful things we can do as citizens of a democracy. If you're eligible, don't pass up the chance to make a difference this November.